in general, we're just capturing everything in this building on and off the ice and then making sure those photos get to the right people. And it sounds kind of simple, but it is pretty complicated. Uh, a lot of it just comes down to being in the right place at the right time. I decided to kind of look at it as a career path once I just started getting annoyed by all the people asking me to come take photos of them. I'm like, you know, something's, something's really working here. People are really liking these photos and they're asking me to come do photos for their business and stuff. And so it, I almost just got forced into it a little bit, but I'm really glad I did because it's like the best job ever. I was on the Canadian Olympic rowing team uh, from 2000 until 2012. And right around 2008, we were on route to getting a gold medal. And there's a lot of photographers that were coming around taking pictures of us. So I was able to ask them questions and they were very helpful in, in helping me after I retired. This is only my second season working for the Royals. Uh, I've done about four seasons of Royals hockey. The first two seasons for different news outlets, Island Sports News followed by Victoria Buzz. They shoot really two different styles. Um, and what it enables us to do is capture many of the different moments um, that really every fan, um, that when you're at a game or even when you're out seeing stuff around, whether advertising, marketing, social media, um, this is what you're seeing. This is what these guys are, are producing. Every year I've been here, my mom at the end of the year is, I need those photos, I need the photos, because they're, they're unbelievable. Jay and Kevin do an unreal job, and uh, I, you can't, can't get enough of those un unbelievable pictures just from throughout the years like it's they capture uh, such crazy moments in the game and um, it's really cool to see afterwards. The Royals hockey is definitely the most time I spend shooting indoors almost everything else is outside and I love that about my job it's 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 always different. What draws me in uh, a, any kind of story uh, and the people that are involved in that story whether it's following a swimmer doing some swimming in the ocean or following along with the Saanich snowplow trucks earlier this week. Because whatever kind of story is going on, uh, I kind of enjoyed that. Kevin's a total professional and so working along with him is like really beneficial for me as someone who's kind of starting out. Uh, he's been really generous with sharing knowledge and stuff and I'm, I'm just super lucky to work alongside with him. Uh, in the Royals, but also outside of the Royals we do a bit of work, so yeah, I'm, I'm really lucky to work with Kevin. I'm sure he's a bit younger, and but we're trying to accomplish the same goal, so we can ask, oh, did you try this, or can you try this, and we can come up with solutions together, and it's really nice to come to the ring and uh, be part of a team, because when you stop rowing, you lose your team, so and generally when you're out doing photography, you're just one person. I think photographers should approach their careers similar to the way athletes do. Like we're all just trying to reach uh, the top level uh, and that could go in every genre. I mean in hockey I, I'd love to shoot a higher level of hockey and I'd like to do the same in the other sports that I shoot as well and so we're just trying to progress up the ladder like everyone else is. For both of them they're taking thousands of photos a game and at the end of the day they're, they're willing it down to only a hundred. It just shows you how much uh, time, effort and energy they put into it. It's more than just showing up to the games and taking pictures and I think that kind of gets lost in it sometimes. I think the main reason Kevin and I come back to the rink honestly is because we're always hoping we'll get the best shot um, and sometimes on a Tuesday night game in the middle of the season it might be hard to keep that motivation up but you know the best hockey shot you've ever taken could come at any single time so I think that's what keeps us coming back. And at the end of the day, we are hockey fans and we do love this sport. So that, that's the other reason we're here. We got the best seat in the house and like, it's a good excuse to come watch hockey.